Hey guys, it's Matt with Max for Your Mama, and today's episode is all about using the command button. The command button is a, basically a button that sits on each side of the spacebar that allows you to basically speed up everyday tasks, such as copying and pasting, and pretty much a million other things depending on each application. In order to really explain it though, we need to jump into the computer, so let's do that right now. Now before I turn you into a command using WizKid, I just want to reiterate where exactly the command buttons are. As you can see here, on the left and right side of the spacebar are your command buttons. On every laptop and desktop computer, you will have these command buttons. Now this particular keyboard is missing an additional set of number keys on the very far right, but at the end of the day, every single Apple keyboard is going to have two command keys. Now the first thing I'm going to do to show you how key commands work is just open up text edit right here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to the file menu. And I want you to pay close attention to the file menu, and because of this, I'm actually going to blow it up on the big screen. Here you can see that in text edit, under the file menu, you've got lots of options. New, open, open recent, close, save, save as. You get the idea. But what I want you to focus on are all the symbols on the right of this window. These are your key commands. Now the first option on this list under File is New, and what New means is it'll open a new document. And the key command is Command N, which is on the far right side. So the first thing I'm going to do is hold down the Command button. Now you always want to hold down the Command button first before you press whatever letter comes after that. So now since I want to open a new document, I'm going to then press the N button. I'm just going to press it once. Once you've done this, a new document will open. So if I want to save a document while I'm in the middle of it, I would hold down the command button and then press S just once. And that would save my document. So now that I know how to use key commands, if I were to go to text edit now and for some strange reason want to open up a bunch of windows, it would take me a lot of time to go file new, file new. But with key commands, I can hold down the command button and just press N numerous times, opening up lots and lots of windows. And since I can see right here that the command for close is command W, I can also just close them very quickly as well. Key commands are incredibly easy to use, and they're incredibly efficient once you've mastered them. I really suggest you really search out these key commands and try to use them as much as possible. One more thing I'd like to mention is that I have one of the newer keyboards, so my command key looks like this. If you have an older keyboard, though, it might look like this and have an apple on it as well. Don't worry, it's still the same command key. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed learning about key commands, and I hope they really help you make your day a lot more efficient.